Hello guys, hello again. Let's continue with our series of videos uh, and this one is uh, about internal forces. Now we have a problem like this and we have to calculate the internal forces at the point A. Even though it doesn't look like this is a straightforward problem, it's not like the other ones that I solved before. Uh, the only thing that we have to do is make a section at A and calculate the internal forces. Of course, in order to do that, we have to calculate our reactions. What is this? This is a pin. Two reactions. I'm going to say this is the point A, this is the point B, this is the point C. So this is going to be CY and CX. And here, this is a roller. Because this is a roller, this is going to be VY, only one reaction perpendicular to the surface. And that's pretty much what we have. Now, because these are these uh, distributed loadings and this is a trapezoidal load here and triangular load, I'm going to decompose these actually in two. I'm going to go up to this point. I'm going to say this is a triangular load and a rectangular load. If this is a rectangular load, I'm going to put here a concentrate just for because I'm calculating reactions, so it's easier for me to convert this uh, distributed load in only one uh, concentrated load. I'm going to do that, and this force coming from the rectangle is going to be 200 times 8. 200 times 8, base, 8, height, 200. And the location of that force from this end is half, or from this end is half, so it's going to be 4 feet. That's with respect to the rectangle. With respect to this triangle, if this is 200 here and this is 300 is given, that means that this little difference here is 100. That's the height of the triangle. If this is the height of the triangle, the triangle also is going to be producing a load here, which is going to be the area. 8 times 100 divided by 2. And the location of that force from this point is 2 thirds. Let's say this is here. The location for that is 2 thirds of the base. 2 thirds of 8. That's the location for the force coming from the triangle. Or if you use this N, the right angle is 1 third of 8. In this other side, we have a triangle which is going to produce also a force. 4 times 300 divided by 2. That's the area. And the location of this force measured from this point. Is going to be one third of four, which is the base. Why one third? Because this is the right angle for that triangle. Now we are done. The only thing that we have to do now, remember, we are asked to calculate internal forces and moments at the point. A, and we're going to start with our reactions. How do we calculate our reactions? In this particular problem, actually I can say summation of forces in x equals 0. Cx equals 0, there's nothing else in x. If I do summation of forces in y, then I get stuck with an equation and not using it with cy and by as unknown. So I'm going to do summation of moments at c. Let's do that. Let's start with the force coming from this rectangular distributed force. I'm going to put it like step by step so you, know, you remember where they come from. This is the force coming from the rectangle multiplied by the distance. What is the distance? The distance is half of the base. Positive or negative? Well, it's acting in this direction, and I say that this is positive, so it's going to be negative because it's acting opposite to what I said as positive. Now, from the triangle, it's negative also. Force is 8 times 100 divided by 2. Distance from this end, we say that is two thirds of the base.
big Y. Big Y goes in this direction, meaning it's going to be positive because it's pushing it. If I pin it here in this direction, so it's going to be plus 8 by because the distance from here to here is 8. And then I have to put this force coming from the other triangle, which is also negative. The value of the load we did it before is 4 times 300 divided by 2 because this is 4 and this is 300 divided by 2 multiplied by the distance and the distance is from this point so the distance from this point is going to be 8 plus this distance so it's going to be 8 plus the location from this point which is the right, the right angle is one third of the base equals 0 and from here we can calculate our value for by by is 1766.6 periodic units pounds and if I do summation of forces in y equals 0 then I can say that cy minus this force minus this force plus by minus this other force well it's 4 times 300 divided by 2 mm -hmm. equals 0 and then you can get cy equal 833.3 .3 periodic pounds now I don't know if you realize that I made a I'm not gonna say an error because it's not an error let's say that I did something different than what I always tell you to do I wasted time and I don't like wasting time why I waste time because look when I when I'm gonna do my section here I'm gonna use this part for the analysis. Why that part for the analysis? Because for me it's going to be easier to analyze this than to analyze this. Here I have a trapezoid, a rectangle and a triangle. Here I have only one triangle and one rectangle if I do that. And why did I waste time? Because why did I do moment with respect to C to calculate BY to then do summation of forces to calculate C if I could start doing summation of moments at B? If I do summation of moments at B I'm going to calculate immediately CY. I don't need this calculation for this problem. So you see that it's a little bit of time that we waste, but we waste because we don't have to do summation of forces in Y. I just do summation of moments at this point, and I calculate directly the value that I need. But anyway, we did it, and we calculated. Now, I'm going to make a section here, and I'm going to study, as I say, this side because it's easier to study than the other side. So let's do that. I'm going to use this side, which is the rectangular load, and this is the triangular load on top of that. My value for CY, I just calculated, is 833.3 periodic. This is 200 pounds per foot. Um, oh, wait a second. How much is this now? I don't know. I know this, but I don't know this. Well, but I can know that. Look, if this is a big triangle, this value is 100. This base is 8. And what I'm looking for is at the distance 6. That's my section here. So, if the total distance is 8, and I'm looking for a distance at 6, I'm looking for this height y, this one because I know this is 200 so how do I do that? I say 100 is up to 8 as y is up to 6 and then I solve for y and y is 75 and remember I'm not putting units but remember this is pounds per foot, pounds per foot, pounds per foot at this end, well this distance is 6, we already say that, right? And at this end, remember, we use this convention.
shear at A, moment at A, and the actual I'm not even going to write it because I don't have any actual force. And that's basically it. This is a rectangular distributed law. This is going to produce this force. This force is going to be the area 200 times 6. And the distance from here is half of the base, which is 3. This is a triangular distributed load. 6 times 75 divided by 2, the area. 6 times 75 divided by 2. And the distance is going to be, depending on the end that you are taking it, Let's, if you measure it from this end, it's one third because the right angle is here. One third of the base, and the base is six. Now we have our problem basically solved, and we do summation of forces in y equals zero. Then I have 833.3 periodic positive. The force coming from the rectangle is negative 200 times six. The force coming from the triangle is negative 6 times 75 divided by 2 minus the A equals 0. And from here you can solve for VA equal negative 591.6 periodic pounds. Every time that I box an answer I put the units and I hope that you do the same. Now summation of moments. I like to do it at A because it's the point where I'm doing the section. If I do moment here, then we have 833 times 6, negative. Distance 6, force that in this direction. If I say this is positive, this is negative. This force from the, the rectangle in this direction 200 times 6 is the force, positive, and the distance from here to here is half of the base. This force here, positive, 6 times 75 divided by 2 is the force, and the distance from here to here, we already say, is one third of the base, plus m equals zero. And we can calculate that moment at A equal 950 pounds per foot. So we calculated our values, internal forces, shear, moment, and axial, like they didn't calculate it, but say it. Axial force at A equal zero for summation of forces in X equals zero. You have to mention it, even though is obvious. In summary, calculated the reactions and the only complication here is basically that the section is at this point that means that I don't know the height because whenever, remember, whenever you make a section here you have to cut everything and you have to keep everything that is on top and use that. That's what we did here. Calculating that height is not complicated because you have a ratio between the total height and the base and the length that I'm cutting it, and the new height. And that's what we did in this part, and we solved it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video or class.